Hello everyone. We will start with our new topic. Our new topic is types of SAP database tables. So far in the previous videos, we created order header table, order item table, project details one table, project details two tables. So those all are which types of database tables? All those are our transparent tables. If I will go to SC11 and I will show whatever the tables we created so far in the previous videos, all those are our transparent table. So other than transparent table, we have two more types of database table. One is pooled table and one another one is cluster table. So we have total three types of database tables, transparent table, pooled table and cluster table. What is transparent table? So far, we created transparent table. What is transparent table? In case of transparent table, there is one to one relationship between the ABAP dictionary and the database. Means there is one to one relationship with the help of ABAP dictionary with the help of SC11, you are creating that table. So there is one to one relationship between the ABAP dictionary and the database. Means one table in ABAP dictionary corresponds to only one table in the database. Term itself is suggesting there is a transparency between the ABAP dictionary and the database. It's one to one mapping between the ABAP dictionary and the database. But in case of pooled and cluster, we have many to one mapping between the ABAP dictionary and the database means many table in data dictionary corresponds to one table in that database. In case of cluster also, many table in data dictionary, or I'll say many table in a BAP dictionary corresponds to one table in the database. In case of transparent, we have one to one mapping. In case of pooled and cluster, we have many to one mapping. Now the question comes, if both pooled and cluster are many to one mapping, then why there are two different types of tables? So the difference between a pooled and cluster is, if you are going for a pooled, whenever you are combining the pooled tables, so whenever you are combining the pooled tables into one, whenever you are combining the pooled tables, it is not necessary that the table should have a relationship. The relationship between the tables is not required, but whenever you are going for cluster, tables should have a relationship. Tables should have the common key. So where, what is the difference between pooled and cluster table? Both are many to one mapping, but in case of pooled, the relationship between the tables is not required. In case of cluster, the relationship between the tables is required. Now, when now we are never, never creating pooled and cluster table. We are always, always creating transparent table. But SAP provided lots of pooled and cluster table. 
so you should know we should know about the concept of pooled and cluster so i will go for a ppt and we will understand the structure of a pooled and then we will understand the structure of cluster then then at the last we will cover why why there is a concept of pooled and cluster so i will go for structure of a pooled table first so suppose i have a pooled table a i have a pooled table b these two tables are in a bab dictionary and whenever we will combine these two tables these two table corresponds to one table in the database it means many table in data dictionary corresponds to one table in the database now in our first pooled table a and b are the primary keys in our second pooled table that b is the primary key and you can see there is no relationship between the tables whenever these two tables will combine at the database layer how the structure will be first column will be tab name what the what it will store in the tab name the name of both the tables first table name tab a second table name tab b what is second column second column is var key what is var key var key is primary key of the tables for the first table what is primary key a and b for the second table what is primary key d now we will firstly go to fourth column fourth column is var data var data means non key columns of the table for the first table c is the non non key and for the second table e and f are the non key columns and what is this data length data length tells us about the length of the data means how much data is getting stored suppose i am saying so combining all these columns data suppose length of the data is 200 so this column will tell us the length of the data suppose a has a length of 10 b has a length of 20 c has a length of 30 d has a length of 20 e has a length of 10 f has a length of 10 so whenever we will combine all this so this particular column will give us the length of the data now we will move on to the cluster table now how cluster tables are storing at the database layer we have first cluster table we have second cluster table it means many tables in the abap dictionary corresponds to one table in the database for the first table a and b are the keys and if you see the second second cluster table in the second cluster already two clusters are combined first cluster a b e f second cluster a b e h and collectively they gave the name tab b so whenever these two cluster the store at the database layer how how it will store first column is key key means common key between the clusters common key and what is the common key between the clusters a and b c e and g are the primary keys of second cluster but it will not be considered as a part of key it will check 
वट आर द कॉमन कीज बिटवीन द टेबल इन बोथ द क्लस्टर्स द कॉमन की इज ए एंड बी वट इज थर्ड कॉलम थर्ड कॉलम इज बैड डेटा वट इज द नॉन प्राइमरी की कॉलम ऑफ फर्स्ट क्लस्टर सी एंड डी देन वी एव ई एफ जी एन एच ई एफ जी एन एच You can see E and G are the key primary keys of the second cluster, but still they will store in the web data because key means the common keys of the cluster. Now we will come on to page number. Important page number signifies the continuation of data. Now, what do you mean by continuation of data? Suppose I am saying this particular line in this particular line, we will be able to store some characters, and this particular line is full, full. It is already, it is, or it is full now. It means data for the rest of the columns will shift to next row. suppose it is not accommodating in this row then data of the rest of the columns will shift in the next row now what is page number page number signifies the continuation of data and you can see page number is 0 page number is 1 if suppose we have one more column and the data is not accommodating in this row it means data will shift to next row and page number will increased by one so page number signifies the continuation of data so we learned three types of database tables transparent table pooled table cluster table we are always always creating transparent table but sap provided the concept of pooled and cluster so we should understand what is pooled what is cluster and how they are storing at the database layer and this is the structure which we discussed the structure of a pooled table is tab key var key if i will go for the tab name var key data ln var data similarly for cluster we have key page number and var data now lastly we will discuss the importance of pooled and cluster why why sap gave the concept of pooled and cluster just simple for better memory management sap gave the concept of pooled and cluster you can just think when the data of multiple table combined into a single pool in the database it is for better memory management when the data of multiple clusters are into a common cluster at the data of multiple cluster tables are into a single cluster at the database it means it is for better memory management sap gave the concept of pooled and cluster table so that's it in this video in this video we learnt about the types of database tables thank you